This month, GrainCorp joins Morgan's best ideas list. There's no other agribusiness on the ASX that has greater leverage to improve seasonal conditions on the east coast of Australia and bu bumper grain crops than GrainCorp. As a reminder, following GrainCorp's demerger earlier this year of United Malt Holdings, today it's an integrated grains and edible oils business with market leading positions. As the largest grain handler, marketer and exporter of grain on the east coast of Australia, GrainCorp's earnings are highly leveraged to grain volumes throughout its network. After a few years of drought, the great news is that 2020's uh, winter grain crop is an absolute bumper. In fact, it's a record grain crop. And this will not only support much improved earnings for GrainCorp in FY21, but also the grain will need to be carried over into the FY22 year. So we're expecting also a very strong FY22. GrainCorp will also benefit from its many strategic initiatives underway to improve the underlying business. So consequently, we see GrainCorp as having at least two uh, very strong earnings growth years ahead. So we think it's a, an attractive investment proposition at the current share price. We think it's a great way of playing Australia's improved seasonal conditions. And we would note that La Nina is forecast by the Bureau of Meteorology. Um, and that means that there's going to be greater rainfall in the months ahead, particularly to, until at least uh, the end of February. So with the current winter crop coming in larger and faster than most analysts expected, earnings risk lies to the upside at, at GrainCorp. I'd also note the company has a very strong balance sheet um, and further balance sheet flexibility through its 8.5% shareholding in United Malt Holdings, which is currently worth about $111 million. So we think these funds can be deployed into further growth opportunities over time. So we reiterate our buy recommendation on GrainCorp.